Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zetto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And I am at Mount Hood. You can see the beautiful mountain behind me. I'm actually at Timberline Lodge to be exact. And today is day one of my 10 day tour of Oregon. I'm very excited. I am going to meet my brother and the Alvord in a few days time. And we're gonna take our sweet time getting there. <laughs> Today, we're just gonna get over Mount Hood. Maybe camp in Maupin, maybe camp a little bit further than that. Depends on what time it is by the time that I get to Maupin. Knowing me, we're probably gonna camp in Maupin. I didn't leave the house until two. What else is new? <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. riding through the Mount Hood National Forest and there's all of these beautiful purple flowers on the side of the road. I don't know if you can see them but I just passed through a huge patch of them and they just smell so good and I, all I could think about was how if I was in my truck I wouldn't have been able to experience that. You know, just thoughts. Thoughts while I'm riding. It's fine. <laughs> Well, first pick of a campsite is a walk-in, so I'd have to, to haul my stuff quite a ways. I think I'm gonna go north and see if I can't find a campsite that I can park my bike right next to where I'm gonna put my tent. <laughs> because I'm lazy, and it's only 5.30, I've got time. Before the sun goes down, pretty sure. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I got a new sleeping pad? I'm pretty excited about it. The R value is like insane. <laughs> I also picked up this little air pump from Flextail Gear a tiny pump. I tested it out on my trip to Montana. Not that I did a whole lot of camping, but I did sleep on the sleeping pad the whole time that I was home. And this is actually quite handy. So I just put the little adapter on the nozzle. It comes with a bunch of different kinds of adapters. Then I plug it into the inflate valve like so. It definitely does it a whole lot faster than I can with a pump sack, so. 
and it's rechargeable via USB-C, which means there's no batteries, which I am a fan of. <laughs> so even if it does get, you know, turned on in my bag and it's dead when I get to camp, I can plug it in to charge while I do a bunch of other stuff. And by the time that I'm done doing that other stuff, it's got enough charge to blow up my sleeping pad. So I'm a fan. I'll leave it linked down in the description if you're interested. <laughs> this is also the maiden voyage of my new sleeping bag. It is the Big Agnes Diamond Park zero degree sleeping bag and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. <laughs> it has a zip on either side. It has a little pocket for my pillow up here in the hood. And the thing that really makes a sleeping bag special is that there is no filling in the bottom part of the sleeping bag because all that down gets compressed when you're sleeping on it anyway, so it's not really insulating you. So all of it is up here on the top. It's like the closest thing to sleeping in your own bed as you can get while camping. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have already taken a nap in the sleeping bag at my house, but this is the first run in the wild. What I forgot to mention is that it also fits onto your sleeping pad like a sheet so that you don't slip off of your sleeping pad in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm so excited! I don't think I've ever been so excited to go to bed while camping. While we're still talking about upgrades, I got these itty bitty tiny S hooks to hook my string lights to all the little loops in my tent. I don't think you can get these particular string lights anymore. BioLite still makes a couple that kind of are like this, but not the same. Camp upgrade! Woo! Dude, S hooks are so useful. I made some dehydrated apples and banana chips before I left because I'm a goober. I love dehydrated apples, you guys. I uh, like, this will probably be gone before the end of tomorrow. Making dinner. Well, I have asparagus. What else do I have? Oh, okay. I have some asparagus and I have some zucchini I really need to use. I have green peppers too, but I think I'm gonna save that for breakfast. So, veggies on rice like I do. It is not as dark as my camera is making it seem like it is, but that's what the little aperture light is for. Thank you, Sarah, by the way, for buying me the awesome aperture light. It's been super, super helpful. I may have burned some rice on the bottom of my pot because I wasn't paying attention. Such is life. Gonna boil some water to make some tea and also some extra water to soak my poor X pot. So I did in fact eat before the sun went down <laughs> for anybody who's keeping track. Who knows, maybe this trip I'll actually make it a habit of trying to find camp at five instead of after the sun sets, knock on wood. I make no promises. I did give myself a little bit more wiggle room this trip uh, so I could take my time a little bit more and also because I know from experience that traveling across to Eastern Oregon takes more time than you think it's going to. <laughs> Always. 
one of the main scenic byways through Eastern Oregon is called Journey Through Time. And <laughs> after the last time that I rode through Eastern Oregon, in my head, I've been making a joke about it's called Journey Through Time, not because of like the prehistoric history that's along the scenic byway, but because it feels like time slows down. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I'm gonna get nice and cozy in my sleeping bag and go to sleep. And hello, wind. And it is time. It's like one o'clock in the morning. That's what you gotta do if you wanna get those stars. You gotta stay up late. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. I hope that you guys enjoy this week's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. If you would like early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month, you can head on over to Patreon and get them ad-free before the rest of the world. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that it's absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week. Question for the end screen crew. I'll see you guys later.